Enoch actually felt sorry for the watchers. This is a part two. If you caught the video I did about the fallen angels. Or we could say the watchers. The 200 watchers. A question was brought to me about do I think they had feelings and truly repented? Now keep in mind they were created. Our Heavenly Father showed us in His Word that our Savior didn't get on the cross to die for no fallen angels. Catch that. For the watchers. What they done was so far past wicked. The Holy Spirit was so pissed off. So this is why I keep saying you got to read the books, the removed books. Get the Apocrypha. When you look at Enoch also, um, when you, I want to say this chapter 7. He talks about the second heaven, okay? And Enoch was explaining these men carried him. And it, where he went, it was so dark. Mm. He was explaining the darkness. He said, this darkness is greater than earthly darkness. Now, that's dark. All the way dark. And when Enoch was shown this, you'll read it. Once again, it's not in the King James Bible. But it said Enoch felt sorry for them. Now catch this part. They knew they messed up so bad. They wanted Enoch to pray for them. I'm talking about the watchers. It's all recorded. Can you pray for us? Probably wasn't going to do no good. They actually bowed to Enoch. Wanted Enoch to pray for them. See, they, 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 had, they had no chance of getting it right. Just like Satan has no chance of getting it right. When you mess with the creator's creation so hard like they done, they had no reason to rebel on the Holy Spirit. No reason at all. They did what they did, and that's a heavy price to pay. So I hope and pray this answers your question, because Enoch actually felt sorry for them, for what they had done in that vision, to see them in that darkness, greater than earth darkness. But they asked him to pray for them once again. See, we got to realize, I'm making a point with this. Some people are never going to change. Some people are going to stay the same. They're going to hey, they go to their grave like they are. And that's why I love when Enoch talks about the, the uh, ten heavens. Man, Enoch is deep. What Enoch was able to see that was recorded in those books of Enoch in the Apocrypha, it's a lot of detail, y'all. And I may just come back and do a series um, for those that's as asking me once again about those different levels or different, some call it different levels of heaven or like he said, the 10 heavens. Um, it's so much, like Brother Rodney, you just left a, a dynamic comment. It's so much stuff that's in the word. It's just overlooked. And too many people are going to continue to say, I just don't agree with the, if it's not in the King James Bible, I don't agree. And my question with that is, I have to ask a question with a question. How can you read Jude or Judd and don't want to read Enoch? When Jude, or if you want to say Judd, refers to Enoch, that's how I may pronounce it, Enoch. Or you got Joshua referring to Joshua. You'll see it even in the King James Bible, they refer to these removed books. We went over this before. So my issue with that is, how can you read that one side and they referring to the people 
that you don't want to agree with reading their book. I have to ask the question with a question. What's wrong with believing in Enoch? What's wrong with agreeing and believing with the Apocrypha? Just a question with a question. But I already know the answer on, on most part. Y'all do too. Love y'all. Have a blessed day.